So on January 1st of 2021, the third executive order signed by Governor Hogan was about establishing a Maryland committee uh, to try and celebrate the 250th anniversary of the founding of this country. Certainly people of African descent played a very large role in creating this country. And I think it's really lovely to be in front of portraits that celebrate the descendants or the founding families of America. And I like the fact that Maryland is leading the way in making that statement because we have everyone from Frederick Douglass, Harriet Ross Tubman, James Pennington, Ayuba Suleiman Diallo, Henry Highland Garnett, and William Still from Maryland. So we have a, a population, particularly on the Eastern Shore, very aware of the incredible innovation and stamina of their forebears, most of whom were enslaved people, helping to build this great democracy. What, so what hasn't really been talked about has been the, the efforts and the, the great work that was done by our African-American citizens here in Maryland, our country. And, and what's particularly um, important and what I've, I've seen today is, is the group of people that you see behind me that, that were indeed um, portrayed by um, Lou Star Rose. The collection itself is such a broad spectrum of, of life, uh, whether it's religious or whether it's military efforts during the Second World War that are portrayed here, it, it, is, uh, it is absolutely unique. What I really particularly liked about this collection and about Roostar Rose and the others that are involved here is that it takes it to an entirely different level. It takes us to show um, the real spiritual um, uh, foundation that was behind all of this. And you see that portrayed in, in so many of the, of the paintings and lithographs and others that are here. Uh, they were uh, two older sisters of my grandfather, and uh, the one on the, the, the right um, here in blue is, is Aunt Ruth, and the one on the left is Aunt Pauline. And what I love about this painting is that, you know, Aunt Ruth looks at us, um, you know, with just these beautiful, bright eyes, you know, very engaged, um, as she and Aunt Pauline are sitting there so politely. <laughs> yeah. Aunt Paul looks on, looks at her, just kind of making sure as, as an older sister. Right. I knew them in their um, kind of older years, I guess you could say, but they had that same strength and, and, and confidence. Um, Aunt Ruth actually became one of the um, the first uh, black business woman, women in the Easton um, that set up her own shop outside of her home. It, it clearly is about the community. The artist is not there portraying herself. What she's portraying is the community and, and, and from, again, through her eyes perhaps, but, but it, it transcends that. And, and so it really becomes uh, real. It, it, it just jumps out at you in so many different ways. And, and whether it's someone that's, uh, that's uh, doing the crab industry, uh, picking crabs, or whether it's the farmers, or whether it's, uh, it's uh, the religious figures uh, that were giving, uh, giving strength to people uh, by uh, enforcing, the, by showing them uh, the faith that, that lies behind so much of the, of the success and the real strength uh, of the individuals in, in making sure that the country does go in the right direction.